this video is about motion capture free version in 2024 in late 2024 you guys know it finding a cheap mocap system that is usable is a very difficult challenge they're often used by big studios where they make hollywood quality films or triple a games as an indie guy who's doing films and sometimes games <laughs> you know i cannot afford them don't get me wrong those systems are great they can capture anything I have even tested an XN7 via Link suit before, but just, you know, the price is this. Long story short, I didn't have money, so I tried to figure out a way of doing motion capture and I found the answer lying in my house, which was Kinect for Xbox 360. This camera was so powerful that a decade ago, we were playing Just Dance, Star Wars, and many more games with it. It tracks your body motion and uses it as a game input. In fact, there are some companies providing software support for motion capture with Kinect, IPI Soft or EP Soft, and Brackle Body are one examples of that. But I'm I don't like to pay for that, so I searched an open source alternative, and yet I found one. The project's name is Mesh Online. It was built by a Chinese guy that you can see now in my screen. Uh, I don't want to mispronounce his name, but his nickname is actually Article for some reason. And he provides free mocap solution for Kinect V1 only. For Kinect version 2, there's another guy uh, who's done a free software. So in order to get that, you should watch Roy Royal Sky's video. I'll leave a link below, so go ahead and find that. For Kinect version 1, download the code from Mesh Online GitHub page. I'll leave a link down below. Once you download the software, just run mocap.exe. Then a window will pop up, and when Kinect sees your body, it will start the performance. It is best to start recording with a T-pose, and then do whatever you want. Once you're done, simply just walk out of the frame, or jump, and it will finish the performance. It is now time to open up Blender. Bring your mocap animation, which is in .bvh format. There we go. We can retarget it now. You can use Rococo Retargeter add-on for Blender, and which is totally free, you don't have to pay anything for that, but I use AutoRig Pro. In both add-ons, you select the source animation and target armature, then press Build Bones List. This will generate a list that matches source bones to target bones, but we need to go through this list and modify it and make sure that the right bones are matched to the right rig controls. By the way, the mocap animation is in forward kinematics by default, therefore we need to switch IK bones to FK bones in our control rig. Quick side note, IK Bones, aka Inverse Kinematics, allows you to control bones inversely, meaning you control the leg, for example, from the feet, whereas in FK Bone, you control it from the thigh. We're continuing to match the bones, so head is the head also the same, hip is the root master in the target, so don't forget to set as root also, hip left is the thigh right. Hip right is a tie left, I don't know why. The naming convention can be different, but go through each of the bones and put your character and the source armature in the pose mode and so that way you'll see the matching bones better. Once you finish your bone matching, just press retarget and voila, you officially have transferred your mocap animation onto your character. Congratulations on that. You might notice that our motion is pretty jittery. We need to fix this. So select your rig and go to pose mode, then select all the rig controls by pressing A and open Blender's graph editor. Here simply press Alt-O and this will apply a jitter removal filter. You can see that our mocap does not capture finger and head motions, which is alright. Most mocap systems don't provide all-in-one solution. We can manually add finger and head motions by adding keyframes. So this is done in Blender's NLA editor, also known as Nonlinear Animations Editor. I learned this method from the YouTuber Spectra, so shout out to him. Think of this area as a video editing software. You got the animation tracks in different layers that you can use and modify. So in order to modify my own mocap, I'll firstly select the animation which is on my character by pressing the little cursor. Then I'll push the animation down by pressing the arrow near it. So here we want to make sure that the extrapolation type is hold and blending type is replace. Now I'll add a new animation layer on top of it. This will be my modification layer. Make sure that its extrapolation type is hold forward and blending type is combined. Now let's say I want my character to look at a camera at a certain frame. 
that's done by creating a range in the animation. And that's done by adding keyframes. Uh, otherwise, you mess up the whole animation. So let's add a keyframe here by pressing I and a little forward, add another one. So in the middle, wherever I want, I can make some changes on the head rotation and add a new keyframe, and that's it. Now, Deadpool looks at the camera at, at a certain frame. One thing you should always remember is that Kinect is quite limited to what it can see. So for instance, here I made a quick spin and it lost track of my arm. You can see that it's clipping through Deadpool. And that's not okay. We'll fix this, of course, again using the NLA editor. Select the rig controls that are causing you trouble. In this case, select the whole arm and add a keyframe before the motion went crazy. Add another keyframe right after the problem problematic region. Turn on all the keying and rotate the arm in order to fix its rotation and position. Since we have created its region of interest, we can modify it however we want. Do it until you're happy with the end result. And now, when the character turns, I see that the other arm also has the same clipping issue. So, yeah, I'll have to do the same refinement on that as well. And finally, make sure that the problem is solved. Take a look at your animation from different angles to check possible errors. When you're happy with the end result, you can render out your scene. With that said, guys, we're coming to the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching and I really appreciate it. And hope to see you guys in the next video. If you happen to like my content, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing, you know. Maybe you like it. Anyways, thank you and see you in the next video.